Hey guys, back again for another video, and this time it is the final week of uh, Rape Revenge, and I decided to leave what is probably my personal favorite of uh, the Rape Revenge films for the last week, uh, intentionally of course. And the film that I'll be talking about is, of course, the 1974 classic uh, Swedish uh, rape revenge film thriller, A Cruel Picture. It is also known as they call her One Eye. Um, anyway, it is uh, directed by Bo A. Uh, Vivenius. And it's but <clears throat> most well known for starring uh, Christina Lindbergh, who's who did a lot of like kind of uh, modeling, and she also was in a lot of uh, early kind of sleaze type uh, films during the 70s. <clears throat> but anyway, guys, uh, this film kind of starts out uh, with her as a little girl. And it kind of shows the scene where she goes to the park and she's playing in the park and then this uh, kind of crusty old man comes up and, <clears throat> you know, starts kind of dancing with her and holding hands with her and basically, you know, it's not graphically shown, obviously, but, you know, because she's like a, a little girl, but basically the... Uh, you know, he kind of grabs her and throws her to the ground, and then essentially the jest is that he uh, sexually assaults this, this young girl. Well, the, uh, the, the film then cuts ahead until she's, I don't know, 17, 18, 19, somewhere in there. I don't recall. Like I say, guys, normally I watch these right before I do a review, and I apologize. I've had so little time I didn't watch this one fresh uh, right beforehand. But she's late teens up to maybe early 20s. And at this point, <clears throat> she was so traumatized as a child, she doesn't speak. You know, so basically in the entire film, she never speaks. So that's the whole, she's, a, you know, she's mute. But, uh, and she's living with, I think it's her grandparents. Again, I could be mistaken. But one day she's out and about, and this guy in this, you know, fancy car rolls up and asks her if she'd like to go for a ride. At least I think that's what it is. <clears throat> So anyway, he, you know, takes her for a ride. If I remember correctly, he takes her out to dinner, and well, then he takes her back to his place, and more or less tells her, you know, that uh, she's working for him now. He's like kind of a pimp, and he, you know, he uh, has all these women there that he kind of, forces them to, you know, have sex with other men, and he collects the money. And like so many of the films at that time, you know, he kind of keeps them in captivity, and he shoots them up with heroin. So he gets all these girls hooked on, on heroin and so forth. Um, well, the day her first client, as it were, comes in, you know, she's putting up a fuss, she's kicking, she's screaming, she's carrying on with the, the customer, as it were, gets really irritated, wants his money back from the, you know, the sleaze merchant guy that's running the show, so he storms off, well, this guy is pissed off, you know, he just lost a bucket of money, and probably lost a client, and so he decides he's going to teach her a lesson. And so he literally goes in <clears throat> and cuts out one of her eyes. So she wears a patch the rest of 
the movie, and so of course that's why the alternate title of the film is they call her One Eye. <clears throat> well, essentially they keep doping her up, they keep, you know, and she kind of finally gives in, she starts having sex with all of these uh, men, you know, but obviously she's not happy about it. And I should point out, there are two different versions of this put out by Synapse Films. Uh, the, there's one with a yellow cover art rather than the red. And the yellow does not have all the uh, <clears throat> all the hardcore sex inserts in them. So if you're not into the, the hardcore scenes, the yellow one I think has got everything else in it. So. But I, of course, had to go with the fully uncut, fully uncensored red cover version. So anyway, a little mi mini side point. Um, but anyway, she starts playing ball, and like I say, this one does have some hardcore sex uh, scenes in the film. Although they do use a body double, Christina Lindbergh um, refused to do any fully pornographic uh, scenes. So any of the quote-unquote penetration shots and so on, it is a body double. So it should be noted for those that might care about that sort of thing. <clears throat> but anyway, because she starts to sort of play ball and go along with it, and the, the you know, sleazy boss man decides to, you know, let her out once in a while. He feels he can trust her now. Well, while she's out on her, you know, breaks, when she doesn't have a client and he's letting her go out and about a little bit, uh, she decides to start learning how to drive a car, she starts learning how to shoot guns, use firearms, uh, learn some uh, martial arts, etc. <clears throat> And I'm going to kind of end it right here, guys. Basically, what happens is she, uh, you know, takes all of this newfound knowledge and she goes after the sleaze merchant and all the guys that work with him and she gets her revenge. Now, this one, unlike some of the other ones, is, is very grindhouse in feel. It's got a lot of, uh, you know, a lot more shooting and... Uh, you know, it's got a very, uh, not that this is exactly the right comparison, but almost like if anyone of you guys have seen like Death Wish, think that Charles Bronson was a woman, you know, you know, a lot more, you know, shoot em up, shootouts, and, uh, there's even a lot of, there's even some like slow motion gunshot scenes and stuff in it that it's, you know, everybody thinks, oh, the Matrix was so fresh because it had that, no, that was done well earlier <clears throat> in films such as this. But anyway, guys, it's fantastic. If you're a fan of like grindhouse action cinema, it's great. If you're a fan of sleazy stuff, uh, it's spectacular, you know, if you just enjoy rape revenge films, it's spectacular. I mean, it's probably my favorite in this series, but once again, guys, this was Thriller, A Cruel Picture from 1974. It's a, again, like I say, it's a Swedish film, and this particular release is uh, put out by Synapse, Re uh, Synapse Films, rather, excuse me. So, anyway... I think it's a, it's a great film, and I thought it would be a fitting way to end this uh, seven weeks of rape revenge, guys. So, for everybody that made it through the entire series, thank you so very much. Um, I'm going to try and do some kind of a themed series again in the future, although I think I'm going to structure it a little differently, guys, because... Dragging something out for nearly two months is just kind of too much. So, anyway, guys, as always, thanks so very much for watching, and I will talk to you later.